For tip of the day, I'm going to be showing you guys this really useful square one technique. And the move is called M2. So basically it's one slash, uh, negative one, negative one, slash one. So way you're going to trick this is, uh, you want to do this, the one like this, slash, the top one goes like that, bottom one, use the other finger, yeah. so it should flow pretty smoothly. The reason it's called M2 is because if you do M2 on 3x3, three, three you can see it's pretty similar, and that also leads to similar algs. So, for example, H perm, M2, U prime, M2, U2, M2, U prime, M2. You can do the same thing here. So, we'll do the move M2, U prime, M2, U2, M2, U prime, M2, H perm. So, that's pretty cool. There are a lot of other elves you can also do. I'm just going to show you all of them. So, first of all, M2 also works for orienting the edges on top and bottom layer. So whenever you see this case, M2. Okay, so for um, this case, we have these two edges switched and these two edges switched. You just do M2, U2, M2, U2. Pretty simple. For Z perms, you want to hold it like this, M2, U prime, M2, U, M2, so that's pretty simple. And the last one I'm going to show for now is the O perm and opposite. So I've got O perm on top and bottom is opposite, so the way you do it is M2, U, M2, U, M2. Or it's other direction, M2 U prime, M2 U prime, M2. So this is one, this is uh, counterclockwise. That's when you should be doing U's. We'll just solve it. But when they're going clockwise, you do U primes. So that's how you use M2.